on the thing as much as um, the production possibility curve is concerned. So in this video, but today we're going to give you a clear view and explanation in as much as work for tutorial for production possibility curve is concerned. Production possibility curve explains two countries producing two goods. It can either be good X, it can either be good X, it can either be good X or good Y. It can either be good X or good Y. The country producing two good, it can either be good X or good Y. Or if you don't put it to be good X or good Y, we can also take it to be either capital good or consumer's good. Capital good or consumer's good. If you don't take it to be uh, good X or good Y, we can say capital good or consumer's good. Now, this consumer's good, what are consumer's good? These are goods which are consumed for what? For recent consumption. While capital goods are those goods which are um, produced for further production. Capital goods can be example like machine. If you buy a machine in the factory, you are buying that machine for that machine to produce more goods. So that's an example of a capital good. Now, in production possibility curve, it explains two countries producing what two good. It can either be capital good or consumer good. Or in other words, you can put it producer uh, good X or good Y. And you should take note that the, the word capital good is still the same as what producer good. If they say capital good, it's otherwise known as what producer good. So now, in production possibility curve, sometimes they used to treat students or they used to treat individuals to talk about production possibility curve. They can either use it to call it as the production possibility curve where they have been it as what PPC or they can either use it to call it what the, uh, the opportunity cost curve which they can abbreviate it as what OCC and they can also use it to call it as the production possibility frontier which is they can abbreviate it as what PPF that's the production possibility frontier they can also use it to call it as well, the PPB, which in full meaning it is known as well, the production possibility boundary. So those are the different names that they can use to confuse students, especially when a question is concerned. They can either say the production possibility frontier, they can say production possibility curve, production possibility boundary, all of them, they are of the same use, they are of the same name, they are all production possibility curve. So it is just a way of confusing students. Now we need to know the different assumptions when we take different assumptions that are to be taken into consideration when we are talking about what the production possibility curve. The first assumption we need to know is that resources are constant in a production possibility curve, or where it shows two countries, it shows a country producing two good good X or good Y. The resources used at that time must be constant. Only two goods are to be produced. That is the second one. The second one, only two goods are produced. Now, when we talk about the two goods that are produced, we can either talk about the country can be producing capital goods as well as the country is producing consumer's goods. The country can be producing either, if, if you don't call it capital goods, as I earlier said, you call it what? Producer's goods. The country can either be producing in other way, um, good eggs, if they can use that way to trap you or good Y. So the country must be using two good. So they, were, they must be two good produced in that country. Only two good are used. That's the second assumption. And then now the level of technology must be constant. When we're talking about when we're talking about production possibility curve, the level of technology, level of technology must be what must be constant. Now the, the fourth is that resources are fully utilized. That means the resources which are brought in are fully what utilized and then the other one resources are mobile so those are the five five uh, assumption of production possibility curve first constant resources are what constant the second only two goods are produced the third the level of technology is constant the fourth resources are fully utilized and the fifth resources are what mobile so that's what you need to know about the assumptions of a production possibility curve. Now the next we are going to be looking at the different types of production possibility curve. We have 
three types of production possibility curve. We have a straight line PPC, which we can see it here. We have a, this is a straight line PPC. We have a straight line PPC. We have a converse PPC. This is a converse PPC. And we have a concave PPC. In a straight line PPC, it shows the country producing two goods, either good eggs, as stated, good eggs or good wine. It can either be good eggs or good wine. And in a straight line PPC, the resources are what? The, the, the level, the resources or in the street line PPC as a whole, um, there is equal opportunity cost in the production of goods and services. Now, the same if the country use this, let's say at this level, you see that the same quantity used in the production of good eggs is the same quantity used in the production of good Y when you look at the, arrow, the line that has crossed there. So, in a straight line PPC, there is equal opportunity cost in the production of both good and services. Now, at this level, a concave PPC. It shows a concave PPC. It shows that a country is producing two good, as stated here, good X and what good Y. Now, in this concave PPC, in this concave PPC, the the country is uh, producing at this level, or in this innermost part, is because the level of technology is small, the population size is small, resources are not fully utilized. And the standard of living in this place is what? It's low. So at this level, at the converse PPC, you see that when we're talking about the converse PPC, the resources at that level are not fully utilized. Even though the country is producing what? Too good. The resources are small. That is as a result of what? Population size small, economic growth small, level of technology small. While in a concave PPC, it shows a country producing too good. It can either be good X and good Y as stated. Now, when the country is producing two good, good X and good Y, at this level, you see that when the country is producing at a concave, concave, that is the, 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 the PPC is going outwardly, it shows that there is economic growth. As a result of economic growth, what happens? At this level, there is what? Increase in population size, the full utilization of economic resources. As a result of that, what will happen? The standard of living will be what? High. The level of technology is high. So that is what you need to know in as much as the production possibility curve is concerned. In our next video, we are going to be taking up a question and the answer in as much as the production possibility curve is concerned. So go to our next video, video 4 on the production possibility curve. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification bell to be notified each time there is a video on our channel. Hope to see you in our next video. Bye bye for now.